Alright, welcome back to another Let's Tutorial. And we are actually going to start to interact with some items. And our first item is going to be a weapon. A weapon that we are going to put on the ground. And that eventually we are going to be able to pick it up. So, let's um, begin. And actually, before we begin, um, hopefully we are going to be actually using a the weapon from the marketplace, the military weapon dark. Um, if you have another weapon, that's great. You know, we're it's basically we're just using a skeletal mesh of those weapons, so anything you could find will work fine. Um, if you didn't purchase it from the marketplace, but if you did and you want to um, add it to your project, just go to the um, Epic Games Launcher and go to Library and add your weapon to your project. All right. So now we are going to actually right click. We're going to add a folder and we're going to call this pickups. This is going to be everything that we can pick up. And we can go into here and we're going to right click it and we're going to add a blueprint class, an actor. And this is going to be called our, we're going to call this our weapon pickups. All right. Now, if we double click this, what we're going to do in here is we're going to add a skeleton mesh. Uh, skeletal mesh. And then make sure you click. You don't want to like have this highlighted and then add another component. Just click off of it. Then add a component. Sphere collision. All right. And our, this is our sphere collision. This is going to actually be. Um, how the how we interact with the item like how close we can be to actually interact with it and this is going to be uh, we're going to set this at 150 radius all right so you got larger and then we're going to actually add another one here we're going to call this widget all right all right so we have our skeletal mesh all right, now this is, uh, this blueprint we created is a parent blueprint and a parent class, and we're actually going to, you know, store these three things in here with really nothing. And um, but now when I show you that we actually, when we go into go over here and we right click this our weapon pickups and we create child, and we can call this our uh, weapon. Uh, pick up underscore rifle this will be our rifle underscore child again these naming conventions are how you know these are naming conventions so however you want to name them it's really up to you um, I named it this way so we can kind of we know exactly what it is when we uh, reference back to it um, you know and as you get better, you'll you won't have to maybe add so much to it. So, anyways, double click, go into that, and now if you see these are inherited from the the parent class. This is your skeletal mesh. It doesn't have anything in it, but your sphere it still stays at 150. And we actually want to go to oh, actually go back to your um, the main one, and we want to the sphere. We want to actually sh we want to have it. It's hidden in the game, but we want to be able to see it when we go into game. So click that right there. And then we're going to go back to our weapon child. And then, as you can see, it's off. All right, so now we can go into our widget class. And at the moment, we don't have a widget class. So we're actually going to create our widget. And this is going to be our um, when we enter the collision area, it's going to pop up with a, the name of the rifle you know basically just gonna say rifle so it knows that you can interact with this item alright so we're gonna go over to here we can go down to user interface widget blueprint and let's call this rifle UI I can double click on this and we'll scroll give this a custom size of 150 
by 70. All right. Now what we can do is zoom in. Let's go to our text. And we can drag that in there. We can go over to here in the content area. And we'll just call this rifle. Very basic. All right. So, all right, so now we're good there. We'll compile that, save it. Let's go up into, let's go back to our um, weapon pickup. And then we actually want to give the widget the same size as we gave it before. So we gave it a, what, a 150 by 70. And we want to actually make this on the screen space because world space when you go around the item go around the uh, the text it will actually the widget when you're actually get into the collision area when you go around the back of it it will disappear and you won't be able to see it when it's on the screen you'll actually be able to see it no matter what angle you are facing so all right so let's go to our all right in our weapon pickups we want to actually go down here and we want to go back to rendering and we have to uh, unclick this hidden in game oh no actually visible we have to have unclicked that is so we can actually use the blueprint to actually make it, uh, it visible. If we have this clicked, it'll just be visible once we start the game, once we drag this item onto our level. All right, so now, all right, this is done. We don't need to worry about this. Exit that out. Um, we have our weapon pickups. And what we need to do is come over here into our weapon pickup rifle child we want to go to the widget class and give that the rifle UI alright so we can actually go back to weapon pickups and we actually probably want to drag this up just a little bit alright so now we'll compile we'll save what we can do is we can drag in our weapon just to give you an idea show you everything all right now if we go into game right now nothing will really happen oh where is our did we actually that makes no sense all right sorry about that it um just escape out um what i must have done is i did not add the skeletal mesh so in your weapons pick up child just go to your mesh and add your assault rifle again any of these mistakes us being you know new with this it's there's nothing wrong with it um, all right compile save now when I drag it out well it's actually already there don't need to drag it out again so when I go up to it you can see our sphere radius it's there nothing is happening but now we want to set this up escape out go into our weapon pickups we're going to go into the event graph all right we're going to delete this out and we are going to click on sphere and we're going to add a component begin overlap this will actually make our character when he overlaps the sphere and then you want a component end overlap when he overlaps the sphere it will you'll, you'll be able to interact with the item you know at first we're just gonna have some simple text pop up so we can drag up here and we can cast to my TPS character all right you can just control W and I will duplicate it and you can put that over here we can connect that and then we want to connect this to other actor and this is basically letting the sphere interact with us our character 
and then we can drag off set visibility actually before I do that I want to actually show you something quick so we can use a print string Oops, print string and control W this and then drag this here and then we can say the say uh, can pick up and here we'll just type can all right so we compile save and we go into game this will show you that you know as we enter it can pick up can can pick up can all right very so now it lets us know that we actually you know we're in the area it's you know everything's working if we you know set it up for to hit F to pick up or whatever we do afterwards you know that will work but now we actually want to set our our widget to pop up so let's keep out go back into our weapon pickups blueprint and then we can keep this print string we can actually drag off and just say set visibility widget all right And then we can control W and then drag it here and then you can drag off this widget and connect it here but you have to hit new visibility here so and leave this unchecked here so compile save now when we enter the sphere it sh the widget should pop up with our rifle look at that let me, end, let me go out, it goes away, it pops up. So now we have our widget working. Our character is actually, you know, able to, you know, in our next video, or I think maybe we'll start maybe like an inventory system going where I can actually like pick this up and it'll go into our inventory and then uh, but I will decide what um, we're going to do next. Um, I think that's where we're going to go. But um, that works really well. Um, you know, simple. It's not anything uh, too complex. But I think that's best for our videos. We keep something very, you know, keep it really simple. Introduce the little things and then we'll just build from them. All right, guys. I um, appreciate you watching. And I will see you in the next one.